Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl and welcome to the debriefing for Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. You're gonna have to bear with me on a couple things because this is the first time I'm using this setup to record a debriefing. And this is the first time I've used my webcam uh, in this position, so I may not be looking at the webcam the whole time. Gotta remind myself that it's up there so that I'm looking at the people. Um, but yeah, so Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls is done. I kind of can't believe that it's, I mean, it was a shorter game. It was only like, what, 40 episodes or something like that, as opposed to, you know, the usual 100 that Danganronpa, was Danganronpa 2, like over 100 for sure. Um, not that I expected it to be as long of a game as Danganronpa 2, but um, I had heard a lot of things about Ultra Despair Girls going in. I knew that a lot of you, a lot of people in the comments had wanted me to play it because there was a lot of Byakuya, and that did not disappoint. However, I had been warned by several of my friends that it contained things that were probably going to make me uncomfortable, uh, and that, as we saw, was also definitely the case. Um, before we get to all that, I guess we should talk about the good. I didn't really plan a structure for how this was gonna go. I never really do. I just kind of talk about the game. Um, I thought it was interesting. The visual style was interesting. It was kind of fun having the models. Um, voice acting talent was great, as always. Uh, bless Matt Mercer, uh, and... I've gotten to the point where I've watched enough stuff that I'm able to pick out voice actors really easily, which is kind of creepy. I think my ear is just kind of tuned for that kind of thing. So that was pretty fun to be able to hear a lot of voices that I recognize in this game. Um, and I really enjoyed that. Um, the story itself was interesting. Like I, I was invested in, in the story itself. I was interested in the overarching plot of learning how Monica was connected to all of this and how everything kind of happened, everything went down, and how this connected to the Danganronpa series as a whole. That's something that I was definitely interested in finding out, and I will say that it didn't disappoint in that regard. Um, being able, like, all of the connections to Danganronpa 1 were really fun for me because I was watching um, the Game Grumps play through Danganronpa 1 probably while I was doing this, so I was able to remember a lot more about 1 than I probably normally would have given the amount of time it's been since I've played it. Um, but I really did like that. I feel like they built more on the world of, of 1 uh, in this game, which is not something I was really expecting going into this. I didn't really know where it fell. Um, until I, I think I asked like in the, the second or third episode and people told me it was before two, which makes a lot more things make sense. Um, and yeah, I really, I liked all of the connections to one, uh, because as I think I said, probably in the Danganronpa 2 debriefing, I really preferred one over two. Um, so seeing all those, uh, homages to one was kind of awesome. Um, and, and, you know, learning more about what would have happened had things kept going in one was interesting. Um, of course, Byakuya. Love Byakuya. Big fan of Byakuya. Um, even though, I mean, well, we'll talk about some of that later. Um, I think, I mean, special credit. I, I should have said this before with the other voice acting session, but the voice actress for Toko just always does such a good job. Um, amazing voice actress, because I think it is the same voice actress, Juko. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, so honestly, the amount of talent there is absolutely incredible, um, and it's awesome. Uh, and yeah, now I guess, you know, we'll get into the, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't want to say negative, but like, the stuff I didn't like. I knew going into this that shooters are not the types of games that I'm good at. Like, I'm just not good at them. I'll never be good at them, and I am personally okay with that on my own level. I don't necessarily desire to increase my, uh, my skills as a, a first-person shooter player or, or any kind of shooter. I, I guess this is technically first-person. You go into first-person when you're shooting, it counts, right? I don't know. Um, but, so I knew going into this that it wasn't going to be pretty. Um, 
A lot of people told me to play with a controller, which I think just comes from the fact that someone who is more used to this style of game would probably feel more comfortable with a controller. For me, that's not the case because I primarily, I, I play a lot of games on PC. I didn't get like a console with controllers like that until like the PS4 when I got Persona. So, um, it's not something that I grew up with, and maybe I should have given people that context before I asked for recommendations, but I feel like the controller kind of screwed me up. Um, it wasn't a great experience for me. Um, and I think I think people did say that it, part of the failing is the game itself. The camera's not great, like, and, and other stuff really affected. But once people told me to switch over to mouse and keyboard, uh, you know, around chapter five or, you know, around the end of the game, things did get a little bit better, um, for me. And to take the camera off of, uh, auto and put it on manual, that also really helped. Um, I still don't think I did stellar, clearly, because I never A-ranked a chapter, uh, and I never plan to. I will look up what Byakia says on YouTube. It's gonna be great. Um, and, uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that in this video, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, so I, I knew it wasn't going to be good, um, from a gameplay perspective, but I knew I wasn't going to let that stop me because a lot of people wanted me to, to play it. And I, I feel like I was very upfront going into this. That this is not something that I'm going to be good at. Um, so we had that going into it. So because of that, I did not have much fun, um, playing this. And I'm sorry for any of you who are fans of this game. I don't know if there are any of you out there, but if there are fans of this game, I'm sorry. I will be straight up about it. I did not have fun. I had to force myself to continue recording this because I couldn't stand to leave a project unfinished. Um, maybe force is a strong word because I, I did want to see how the story resolved. I was interested. I liked the characters. They were all right. Um, but it got to the point pretty quickly where I was not having fun. Um, mostly because I, subjectively, because I suck, felt that the bosses were extremely unfair, uh, for the most part. Um, especially the early ones, honestly. I didn't have much trouble with Nagisa. Monica, as I got on the second try, and the first one was just because I screwed up. I don't know. Um, but I just felt like her movement speed was just not fast enough to be sustainable in those boss fights. Um, so that was mostly why I didn't have fun with the gameplay. And in terms of non-boss fight stuff, I thought there were a few puzzles that were just not explained well. I'm thinking of blowing up the wall when you first get Link, uh, when they give you a bomber Monokuma, and so I thought I was supposed to throw bombs at the wall because that's what bomber Monokumas do. Uh, but to be fair, they also explode, so like, whatever. Um, and that one time that the something soft locked or like something glitched so I wasn't able to progress and I was standing at that one puzzle shooting those stupid ball monokumas for 10 minutes. Ooh, that was a day. I was mad that day. <laughs> um, stuff like that, like stuff I feel wasn't entirely my fault. At least I'll, I'll take partial responsibility, but wasn't entirely my fault. Um, is the things I take issue with. Um, and I don't necessarily have any, like, way to fix that or anything. But just for me, I didn't particularly care for some of that. <laughs> um, and then, you know, I guess we'll talk about the elephant in the room. Um, some of the content just didn't need to be there, like, at all. Like, I, as, as obviously, because I cut it out, was extremely uncomfortable with a lot of the stuff involving Kotoko, and the fact that it came back in the visual novel was something that upset me greatly. <laughs> I didn't really show it, because I just kind of skipped past it, but after I finished recording it, I sat back and I was like, why did that come back? Like, come on, man. I thought I got off. I got off scot-free. Like, could, didn't have to deal with that anymore. Nope. Had to deal with it again. I just feel like, I know Danganronpa is like, I don't want to say, I don't know if I want to say known for, but like part of the series is pushing the envelope. Like kids kill each other. That's like part of the series, it's part for the course, whatever. We're cool with that. But when we take it a step further 
for not a lot of payoff, uh, plot-wise. I just didn't feel like it had to happen. I didn't see any substantive reason why any of those things needed to be explored. And maybe the anime, maybe V3 will will address my concerns, but as as for, you know, anything in the game, didn't feel like it really had a lot of payoff. I'm looking at you, Kotoko. Maybe Nagisa. I would argue that probably Nagisa's made sense. I would give that one to the game. Um, because it, it, I don't know, I just feel like everything could have been tamed down and the game wouldn't have lost anything because of it. That's just my opinion. Like, I get what they were trying to do, especially with Kotoko. I do understand, like, that they were trying to poke fun at hentai games and, like, be all edgy and subversive, I guess. But for me, it just didn't work. It just made me really uncomfortable and I didn't like it. Um... Yeah, I think that's- that's probably all I need to say about that. Um... Overall, I didn't have fun, but I was interested, I think is probably the best way to put it. Would I play this game again if I was doing, you know, another run of the Danganronpa series in the future? No. Would I recommend this game to literally anyone? No. Uh, unless they're an absolute die-hard Danganronpa fan who needs every bit of the lore to get something out of the series. Uh, then maybe. But probably not, still. Honestly, I, I think this game is fine to be skipped. And I, I'm not gonna say that I wish I had. Because if I had, I would always be wondering about what I missed. Especially because people told me there was so much Byakia in it. So, like, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I played it. Like, that's, for whatever that's worth. Um, I'm glad that I had the experience of, of playing this game. Do I ever want to do it again? No, never. I'm very happy putting this project behind me. I'm happy that so many of you enjoyed it for some reason. But we're done. We're never going back. We're never doing it again. It's over. That being said, I need to thank um, all of the people, since there were multiple, who gave me hints in the comments. Really appreciate you. Um, really appreciate all of your patience um, and uh, helping me get through this game. I really appreciate you. I also want to thank uh, Twilight King 432 for putting together a playlist or like finding some music for me to use for my end slates so that I didn't have to go look for it myself. Um, so that I could keep myself super spoiler free. Um, and also Krizeros, uh, who is an artist on Twitter who drew the sprites that I'm currently using in my end slates and as my profile picture uh, as part of the TRG Danganronpa project. Um, and I use them for this project and love them a lot and I'm probably gonna use them for V3, hooray! <laughs> Um, so yes, thank you so much for doing those. They're really awesome, and if you haven't seen the entire project, uh, go check them out. They're really, really cool. Um, I think that's everything I need to say about Ultra Despair Girls. Moving on, and I talked about this a little bit, I think, in the finale, uh, to future plans. Um, things are gonna get a little bit complicated going forward. Not that complicated, but a little bit. Uh, a lot of people are gonna asking me when I'm gonna do V3. A lot of people have been asking me if I'm gonna do V3, and of course I'm gonna do V3. I'm going to do V3. It will come. I need a break uh, from Danganronpa after this. I just, just, just a small break, just a little bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do, most likely, is actually this, uh, honest, the, the project ended at a good time for me. Um, because as most of you probably are aware, uh, I am in my third and final year of law school. Uh, I, finals are coming up faster than I care to admit. And then immediately after finals, I am going to start bar prep, uh, because I will be taking the bar in July to try and become an actual real life lawyer. Terrifying, I know. Um, so... How exactly things are going to change going into that, I'm not sure yet. Because bar prep's gonna, oh. 
my computer just turned off. <laughs> We're still going. Uh, Barcraft's gonna take up a lot of my time. Like, that's 100% true. Um, I have no idea how bad it's gonna be yet. That's another thing. That's 100% true. So hopefully things are going to proceed fairly as normal. I am fairly certain that going into bar prep, what's my hair doing? I will be cutting down on the number of videos uh, that I release per week, probably to two. I'll probably keep Wednesday and Saturday and cut off Sunday, just so that I have less work to do. Um, and since we're doing, we'll probably be doing V3 by the time I get to that, they will inevitably be longer videos. So it kind of works out a little bit, equivalent exchange. Um, so that is definitely going to happen. Um, my plan right now is to take at least a week off. I need a break to kind of get my life in order um, before I start something new. Then I'm gonna do a small, small buffer project that I hope you guys won't mind. I haven't 100% decided what that buffer project's gonna be yet. It's definitely not gonna be long, it's gonna be short. Um, I'm thinking, I've been considering playing Limbo for a while and I've never played it. So I thought that might be kind of fun. So maybe we'll do something like that, some short, sweet uh, game on Steam. Uh, so if you have suggestions for things you'd want me to play as a short buffer project between Danganronpa, let me know. Ideally, I'd want that to last through the end of May and not a lot longer. I start bar prep on May 17th. Um, so we'll see how the timing on everything is going to work. Um, and then after that small buffer project, I'll take another break for like a week or two, and then we'll jump into V3. V3, I, I anticipate starting probably in June, um, or maybe before that, depending on how long the buffer project goes, but end of May, beginning of June is what I anticipate it being. So it'll be a summer project. Um, and you know, I've only heard that V3 is the most mentally taxing Danganronpa game to play, so what other game would I want to play while studying for the bar, right? I'm gonna die, but it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, we will figure it out. But right now, that is the plan. So ideally, I'd say mid-June is the latest that V3 will start. Hopefully, should everything stay on track, that's what's gonna happen. So right now, and I'm not gonna commit to this, but the hope is that I will release this, this video will be coming out, and then I will take a week off, and then the next project will start on April 28th. Um, and it'll be just something small. Um, and then we'll, we'll do, we'll run that as long as it takes, and then I'll take a week or two off, and then jump into V3. Does that make sense? I think that made sense. Um, as for how other things are gonna be affected, i.e. streams when we start bar prep, again, not 100% sure am still working on it, we'll figure it out as soon as possible and let people know because uh, things are gonna get a little hectic for a few months and then hopefully we'll chill out uh, after I take the bar. I don't know what's gonna happen, um, which I hate because I'm so type A uh, that I need to know what's going to happen basically every minute of my life and basically having a giant question mark after the end of July is a little bit scary. But no matter what happens, I will still be here. Making videos, doing streams, like I'm not gonna stop that anytime soon. Even if I have to cut down a little bit while I'm working on bar prep, uh, I'll always come back. <laughs> so I just ask for your patience while I need to keep things a little bit flexible through the end of July. Come August, we'll be back in full force probably, or at least what the new normal full force is, while I hopefully start being a lawyer. <laughs> it's crazy. Super crazy. Um, but hopefully everything goes as planned. I think that is about everything. Uh, if you enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, 
and follow me on Twitter at acefangirl because I talk about my life basically constantly. And I'm trying to get better about using this YouTube post thing, but for updated info, it's always gonna be better to check my Twitter. So uh, make sure you follow that. I also have a Discord, uh, which is always in the description of my videos. Uh, so definitely join my Discord if you're interested. We have a really great group of people. We talk about anything and everything. Um, and it's super fun. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, totally come hang out with us. Um, I think that's about everything for now. So thank you guys so much for bearing with me through this crazy time. Hopefully things will start up again on the 28th, but that is like right before my finals. So we may push it off one more week. Um, <laughs> sometime around then, the next project will start. It'll be very small. If you have suggestions, put them in the comments. Would love to see them. I love taking suggestions. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your help with Ultra and Spare Girls. And I hope you are just as excited to get into V3 as I am eventually. We'll get there. Thank you guys so much. I love you all to bits and I'll see you in whatever you choose to watch next. I'll see you then. Bye.